What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? I'm sorry to kill my parents. Pardon me? <laughs> what? Who? Are they still there? Yes. The people? Who? No, no, no. <laughs> were they shot? Hey, man, they were... Uh, were they shot? Yes. They were shot? Yes. What happened? I have a hysterical person on. I'm trying to get to see him further. Other units are funny. Is the person still there? What happened? We have units around. What happened? Who shot who? Home and found who shot. I'm in bed. You know what? They're still in the house, the people that did the shooting. Uh, get away from them. Okay. Hey, uh, let me talk to Eric. <laughs> let me, let, who is the person that was shot? My mom and my dad. Your mom and dad? My mom and my dad. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> We're on our way over there with an ambulance. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hello, this is the police department. Yes. Okay, I want you to come outside. <laughs> okay, just come out the front I, door I and never brother. my brother. Now, when you got back to the house, what did you do? I went into the room where my parents were. Would you back up a little? Why did you do that? I don't know. Um, I just couldn't stop myself. I was just drawn to the room. I didn't really want to go in, but I could not go in. And when you did go in, how did it affect you, if at all? Uh, it affected me. Um, I just, I just started crying a lot harder. Um, at one point I started to scream. It was awful and I just, I couldn't handle what I was seeing. Do you recall hearing the 9-11 uh, tape that was played? Yes. Were you in the room with your brother when he was calling the police? No. Were you on the same floor of the house? No. Where were you when, to the best of your knowledge, your brother was calling the police? I believe I was in the den. I mean, I don't know exactly at what point he was on the phone to the police. I assume when he went upstairs. But uh, after he went upstairs, I went back to the den. You had been in the den. Did he come and get you? Yes. Did he get you out of there? Yeah. And did he go upstairs? Yes. And you went back in? Jackson leading. Stay. After he went back upstairs, what did you, after he went upstairs, what did you do? I went back in the den. And uh, you don't know why? No. Were the lights still on? Yes. And when had the lights been put on? Um, when we were picking up the shells. You uh, called the police? Called the police. Is that the 911 tape that's been played here right. in court? Right. And on that tape, you're crying? Yes. Was that real? Yes. Why were you crying? Why? What, what was upsetting you? Just the shock. Just um, not believing that this was happening to me. And that my parents were dead. And that I was about to call the police. And, uh... Just, yeah, you know, it's really hard to describe the weekend and this, the stress and f the fear and nervousness and caving in feelings. I was really marginal throughout as it got closer to uh, what actually happened. And uh, by then I was just really raw and just crying for crying's sake, I don't know, crumbling. You portrayed yourself as being very upset to the police when they got there, right? 
No, I, that's why I went there, because we were crying. I was upset. I mean, by the time I talked to the officer a little later, I wasn't crying. And I wasn't trying to fake it. And I wasn't trying to, you know, put on an act or anything like that. I was just feeling what I was feeling. You wanted to get away with it, right? We really weren't thinking in those terms. And we weren't thinking in terms of... We were just basically thinking that we'd shot our parents and that this was horrible and that if, you know, I just couldn't tell the police that and that I did not want to then have to tell them why and explain everything about my family. And neither of us did, and we were pretty pretty firm about that. And, and I mean, we knew that they would, they could easily figure it out and, you know, we didn't know anything about how they investigate things and they might figure it out right away, but until they did, they didn't want to volunteer. Police emergency. Uh, yes, police. Uh, I'm sorry. Can you speak up, please? Hello. Uh, Hello. I can't hear you. Uh, Hello. Are you still there? We're the sons of uh, Jose and Kitty Menendez. Uh, no, Eric, don't. Uh, we just came home. We didn't hear anything. Eric, get away from him. Send an ambulance. Down, sir. I can't oh, understand God. you. Please send an ambulance. What's the problem, please? They shot and killed my parents. Oh my God, I Sir, can't believe it. Sir, can you repeat that, please? Oh God. Hello? Are you still there? Are you okay? Hello? Hello? I always was um, affected by the fact that when those, when the police supposedly arrived, did you hear this testimony? When the police arrived. Those boys had gone out onto the front lawn and they were crying hysterically about what had happened. Mm -hmm. And so after hearing that story, I never believed any of the other tears. I never believed any of the other tears because I go, they were crying hysterically when the police came. Oh, my parents just happened this, you know. Don't you think you'd be kind of freaked out if you just killed somebody? 